morning guys welcome back to the channel my name is daniel and you are watching triple r farms and it is wednesday may the 15th and i really don't have a clue what we're going to be doing today i know we're going to be doing a couple of things um one is a pa tractor it's got some hydraulic leaks on the back and i think andy the john deere mechanic is coming to work on that so if he gets through with that pretty quick then we'll be hooking it to the fertilizer rig which is right behind y'all and uh, then we'll be getting it up to Lounsboro because I just checked out Lounsboro. It's a little bit on the wet side, but I think later on this afternoon he can run. And uh, that's where he's going to finish up fertilizing the corn. Uh, Lounsboro, and then you got hay good right there. Um, the Rogator, I'm going to get Mark cleaning out my nozzles and maybe Wayne. James, uh, he's probably going to be doing some bush hogging for me. I see he's got the tractor hooked up to it. Uh, let's see. Oh combine i think dad uh, wanted to work on a bearing that uh, has gone out on the throat of the uh on the peter house throat of the combine so we may be working on that today but other than that that's all i know sit back and enjoy the video let us do all the work and uh yeah let's get this baby started so at the end of the last video that i put out i was talking about these 360 y drops on our fertilizer rig and we were trying to figure out a way to make them more rigid and uh the reason is they just gotten old and everywhere we've got a pin these holes have just wallowed out from just shaking over the years and basically these things were just dancing around like crazy and i know most people run hoses right here and drag them behind we tried that on our farm but it didn't work because a lot of our land is bedded up and those hoses would just drag and float back toward the middle and none of the fertilizer was getting close to the row out here it was actually being put right in the middle so i ended up taking the hoses off and um, basically the stream of fertilizer just shoots over right close to the row about three inches from the row and uh, that's the way we run this rig but over the years this thing right here got a lot of slack and play in it and it was just dancing around like crazy long story short this is what uh, pa and dad came up with uh, the other day we drilled a bolt through here and they've got a chain with this little spring. I don't know if you can see that spring. And basically this chain has got tension on it from that spring and it really helped. They don't, I mean, they shake a little bit, but they go right back to the center. So anyway, that's gonna help us finish out the year running like this. And uh, we'll, we'll do something in the winter to maybe redesign it or uh, fabricate our own. So this is PA's tractor, the one he was running with the fertilizer rig, the 8285 R. And this is what the John Deere mechanic is going to work on. He's got some kind of major hydraulic leak somewhere back in here. I don't think it's this little thing we normally replace where you plug in the hose. I think it's something back in here. But I think he's got to take all these off. But um, that's what he's going to be working on. So hopefully we'll get that fixed today. And we'll get this thing hooked back up to the fertilizer rig. up the hill oh yeah tell them tell them what happened here what happened is high water floated we had these logs up river upstream and all these logs got floated down here hitting everything we got a log jam it's on the pipe All these logs were up the hill, up there where Dad's truck is. They, they were down there where James is. Or all the way down where James is. And the, when the river gets up, it gets up really high in this area. And it brought them all the way from up there. 
floated them all the way down here all upon where we uh, put our river screen in and we got a mess. We got a log jam. So if you're wondering why we're not out in the fields planting soybeans, it's because we are wet. And that is a very, very good thing because before these rains, we were extremely dry on all the farms. Crops were suffering. Corn was starting to twist up really, really bad. I'm talking about all day it was pretty much twisted up. So um, anyway, we got a great blessing of a couple of rains last Wednesday night and the Thursday. We got two inches of rain across all the farms. I mean, it came across Alabama, hit every farm perfect. Everything got two inches, which was awesome. And then uh, Sunday night into Monday of this week, we got another inch and a half to uh, inch and eight tenths on all the farms. So that was another blessing. Um, so anyway, we got some much needed rain on the crops. Now we got plenty of sunshine coming the rest of the week. So everything's going to start drying out uh, toward the end of the week. But I do not think we're going to get started planting soybeans uh, probably till Monday of next week because we're going to be finishing up over here in the valley and that's some of the black dirt. Typically stays wet a lot longer than our clay soils. Um, so it's going to take a long time for that water to get off the field. So that is why we are just piddling around the shop getting everything ready to go so when it dries up we are ready to hit the road running so i gotta crank up my road gator i got some chemical in here it's been sitting for a couple days gotta stir it up um then i'm gonna go over there to phillips planting tractor i think he's got a software update that i've been needing to do and then me and pa are gonna grab the 8320r we gotta unhook it from the disc we're gonna go down there we've got a 12 row sprayer that uh, we typically use in the summertime to help catch up if we need to um, on some fields. So we're gonna go hook up to that, make sure it's field ready and uh, keep working on stuff. to me. It's probably not going to do it this time, but it usually every time we crank up the tractor, it wants us to update some software. It gives us this message, but there it is. We want to install software. 20 minutes. Well, that took about two minutes. Installation completed successfully. Done. Mark it off. All right, we got a full tank of water. We cleaned the tank out. Got a clean strainer. We put the uh, electric solenoids all in. Now we're going to run some clean water out where the nozzle is going to be. Flush those lines out, and then we'll put the nozzle cap back on. We'll check our spray pattern. Field IQ, diagnostics. Turn these on. Put in a fake speed. 
what, six miles an hour. All right, and we click that on. Alright, sprayer is uh, ready to go. You can mark it off the list. Um, we actually fabricated that sprayer. We made it up ourselves. And uh, what we use that for is a 12 row sprayer, three point hitch, got a 500 gallon tank. So it's not really efficient, but uh, what we use it for is if I'm way off in a Togville or somewhere, you know, way away from the shop in the valley and uh, we got some touch up work in the valley that needs to be done or if we got a couple of fields that need to be done, we'll just go grab that uh, sprayer, hook it up to the tractor and let James or Phillip or PA or somebody go be running it over the valley to uh, help catch me up. So, uh, but anyway, she ready to go. Just put some in and I can't remember which ones I did. On two. Oh, 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 yeah. One rear. Yeah, four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, four. 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 So apparently we got a bunch of bad couplers on one, two, and four. I think three is good. Here's what tears up the cover. Oh! That'll do.
right, so we made it to Haygood. Me and PA, you can see him under my boom. Anyway, we're in the same field over here at Haygood. And uh, I just wanted to show you all the corn. This is Revere 1307. Population uh, 28,000 dry land. But over all the farms that we have corn on this year, Haygood is by far has the best stand out of all the farms. It has almost a perfect stand of corn. But we got an issue. See all this grass coming on? That's like signal grass. As you can see, it is coming on like crazy. See this? It's almost like carpet. But hopefully what we're putting out is gonna take care of it. Um, but we're gonna have to watch this. If I have to come back in here and hit it with Roundup again before it canopies over too much, we'll come back in here. But as uh, far as the corn, corn looks amazing. Got a great color. Almost perfect stand, like I said. Almost every seed came up. Looks like almost at the same time. But just beautiful looking corn. So the good news is we are going to get finished laying by corn today. PA should finish fertilizing. All we got is a hay good. We got rain coming tonight. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So that's going to hit perfect for the fertilizer. It's going to hit perfect for the chemicals I'm putting out, the atrazine, especially the prowl. That's what's going to take care of this grass. It's going to wash it down in there. and. Uh, it's gonna do his thing but um i gotta jump back on the rogator because we gotta get through but thanks for watching another one with us guys we really appreciate y'all watching our videos and uh like always see y'all on the next one guys we're out <laughs>